everyone. Hey, Nailtubers. So today I'm doing acrylic. Hadn't done it in quite some time. I found these acrylics. They came in a pack of 12 of these little jars, and I can't remember the sale price. They were, I think, at Sally's about a year or so ago, and it was pretty cheap, and I decided to try it, but these things are like half empty. I'm using some Super Nail acrylic with it, and there's my monomer dish. And today I'm going to be practicing on Yoko. There she is with her glamorous nails and her gorgeous ring. Okay, she's been waiting to get a set done. So the nails I'm using for her are the EC Basket by Gaga. And these are supposed to be the stiletto shape. And I'm bringing back my old, old friend from nail school, my size 8 Kalinsky brush. And I've used it so much at one point that the color wore off of it. So I just kind of sanded it down. I was thinking of some type of decoration or design to do on the brush. So if you have any suggestions, please, by all means, do let me know in the comments. So we start out with a clear, just as you would a clear nail polish. So these powders came in a set of 12 little jars and again I showed you that they were half empty. No wonder they were pretty cheap. <laughs> but you know what? It's something to work with and practice with. So I got them. I just chose the colors kind of spontaneously. I wanted to be sure that it gave off a summer vibe. Because we are all about that warm weather that's approaching, right? I know I am. I love the summer season. I really didn't have a design in mind. I just decided to go this totally freestyle. Here you will see my first attempt at ombreing with acrylic, maybe trying to do a little marbling with acrylic, and then eventually I'll add a little freehand design towards the end. As I started using this product, I started wondering if it was actually an acrylic product or if it was just a pigment, like a pigmented powder, because it wasn't really beading exactly. But you know what? When you're using acrylics and you go from brand to brand, you have to get accustomed to different consistencies. So I just decided to continue to push through this. So here, where I attempted the ombre, it looks more like it's bleeding instead of blending into an ombre. And it could be the product, it could be anything, but you know what, you become more familiar and better with practice. One of the things that I do want to mention when working with colored acrylics, you want to work thinly to create your design or just simply layers. You will eventually build the nail with a clear acrylic towards the end.
at this point, I'm convinced that this is a pigment powder, so I'm just working it just to get it spread a little more evenly. So while you watch me work, I do have a few things to mention. I haven't had an opportunity to post in maybe a week or more, and many of you are aware that I'm also working. But I've been missing this channel and all of you so much. I never can wait for the day to create something for you. I want you to know that I do see all of your comments and messages, even if I can't respond right away until I'm off again. Thank you for being here and thank you to everyone new to this channel. I'm so happy to see you. Today I really want to thank someone special. I have several nail friends on YouTube, but today I want to acknowledge someone in particular because of what she did. If you're not familiar with Femi Beauty, you need to visit her channel. I will have a link in my description box as well. She's a very lovely young lady with a large YouTube nail following, and I really love her nail ideas. I've been following her for quite some time, and in one of her recent videos, uh, it's titled Hollow AF, AF, <laughs> Simple DIY Nails, Step by Step, etc., etc., in the title, but I'll have it posted for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. She acknowledged my channel and gave me a shout out. And not just me, but other channels too. This meant so much to me as a subscriber of hers. This is what I truly love so much about the nail community on YouTube. So if you're here from Femi Beauty, thank you so much. I am so ecstatic to have you here. Thank you, Femi, and I'm sending the love and support back your way. So here I'm holding the brush into the camera so that you can see oftentimes when you're working wet your product can build up inside the brush and become clumpy. I'm starting a marble here which I've never done before so I'm just going to do what I can. For this nail, I decided to do another ombre just to bring the colors together. From this point, the video is sped up a little more for time's sake and because of editing issues that I've been experiencing. Speaking of time's sake, I believe this may be the longer of videos that I've done since I've started this channel. And to tell you the truth, I don't even know what's considered average 
<laughs> or correct or however you want to term it. I just know that I hear other YouTubers say things like this is going to be a long one or this will be very short and quick today. But I just know that it's longer than most of the ones that I've done. I usually try to create it for about 15 minutes or less. The rationale behind it, I have no clue. I just have fun. <laughs> I think I got used to the product by the time I was able to form this yellow bead because it sat in there pretty nicely, didn't it? I really started liking how the colors were looking together. It gives me like a tie-dye vibe. So I'm going in to top this off with a clear acrylic by Supernail. Supernail acrylic is a product that I get at my local beauty supply store. I've been getting it since nail school and I typically use it for practice. You'll see me tap the nails to make sure they're dry and then starts the filing. One of the things that I care to practice more is doing acrylics or nail services on Yoko, my practice hand, because it's one thing to do a service on yourself or for yourself, but it's totally different doing it from the client position. For two of the nails, I was trying to see how well I could change the shape at the tip using the e-file. I think this turned out pretty good so far. I like it. I'm also trying to remember to do some touch-up filing from the client view.
continuing to hone my nail art skills, adding just a few touches here and there. Well, everyone, this was my freestyle design today using an unknown brand of acrylic that I still suspect is pigment powder. <laughs> but I really like how it turned out. It's so colorful and in the summer mood. I hope you enjoyed this because I always have so much fun. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave me a comment so I know you were here, and remember to subscribe to my channel. I still have so much coming up. There are a couple of things that are currently in the making, but for now, I'm off to work today, and I'll be catching up on comments today when things slow down. I can't wait to see you next time. <laughs>